If you're looking for good fall colors, this could be your last weekend in much of Minnesota. The DNR tells us that leaves are turning more quickly this year. Why is that happening? Good question. Heather Brown explains why our trees are extra stressed this season. Scientists know that it's the amount of daylight that triggers the leaves to start changing colors. Less sun means less green chlorophyll, which means the yellows and browns and oranges start to peek through. Now that happened mostly on time this year, but what was different was how quickly the leaves changed once they started. Check out this DNR map. This is today on the left. There's so much more red and dark red compared to September 30th in 2019 and 2018. Forest health experts tell us there are a few reasons for this fall's speedy colors. Over the summer, there wasn't as much rain as usual up north, which means the soil isn't as moist, which means the trees are somewhat stressed and stressed trees can change colors more quickly. The opposite happened in southeastern Minnesota, which had more rain than usual, and that stresses the trees too. I knew stress had something to do with changing colors. That's a different good question. Another factor, it's been a little colder up north, and that can cause the reds to really come out. Duluth saw its first hard freeze on September 18th. So for those of you who follow this map very closely, the amount of peak is defined as the percentage of trees that have already changed color so far in that particular area. Past peak means the leaves have dropped to the ground. This map comes from reports from 75 different parks and recreation centers across the state. They have to update at least once a week, but some do more than others, so that changes the map right away. So check back every few days, because this time of year, it all changes so much more quickly than most of us would like. Heather Brown, WCCO 4 News. Some of the best fall colors are popping right now just north and west of the Twin Cities. To see the latest updates from the state parks and trails, just check out the fall color finder. We have a link to that at WCCO.com.